All right, it's about 6 a.m. and I'm headed down to the 2017 Santa Cruz Perch Derby. It's an annual event, 300 anglers, biggest perch wins. Now I'm headed out about an hour and a half south of where I normally fish, because where I normally fish, uh, the fish have been small and the beaches have been blown out with big swells. It's been beautiful weather, uh, super calm conditions, just uh, really big swells. So, you know, bigger swells haven't really been providing bigger bite. To win this thing, it's gonna take I think a minimum of a two and a half pound fish. That just seems to be the magical weight that uh, guys have turned in to win this whole thing. I normally don't get up this early and drive this far for fish, but I'm doing it for the subs. Oh, beach is already crowded. Look at all these old G's. They're lined up. Die hard. Yeah. Ish with fish. Yeah. What are the chances? <laughs> what are the chances? Yeah, how about I just up to you, man? Yeah. Good stuff, yeah. yeah <laughs> Alright, man, good luck. What's <laughs> up? Anything taking the lures? I've already caught six. Oh, really? Well, that's why I'm using the minnow. Is that what, is that what they're biting? Getting, uh, no, I, I know they're here. Okay, but you're looking for the big ones, right? Yeah. Good uh, idea. What's up, dude? <laughs> Wait, that just happened. Let me see this. Yeah, dumbass. Uh, wow. Dumbass just put this line on yesterday. And, uh... Oh, well, get rid of it. Yeah. Oh, the casualties of fishing, dude. What's up, man? All right, finally geared up at my spot. Found Nick, found Brian, and uh, got the Pen 3000 Fierce 2, 8.5 foot Llama Gloss X11, my favorite rod, like ever. And I'm uh, going big, going with the electric craft, saltwater, flash minnow, 110. The, the school's here, they're in front of us somewhere. I'm gonna try to pick through the little ones, target the big ones uh, with the hard bait. Let's do it. Fish on. Dude! Woo! Dude on the flash minnow! That's nice. Hell yeah! Close? Dude, it was like, t I wasn't paying attention. It was like 10 feet in front of me. Dude, that's gotta be like a pound and a half, I think. He's a monster! Dude, yeah! Okay, flash minnow back on. Flash minnow back on. Dude, on the flash minnow! Yeah. Feels like 14 pounds. Woo! Look at that guy. Hell yeah. When you're not paying attention is when they bite. Hell yeah, check it out. Oh, that guy got worked. Let's see, this isn't the most legit scale, but it was only a few bucks on Amazon. Can't beat that. Here we go, ready? Just over a pound and a half. Let's change up the units here a little bit. Huh, yeah, I'll take it. I think I'm going to need something twice as big to win, but this is my turn in right now. Hell yeah, first perch on a hard bait. I'm stoked. All right, pro tip. If you don't have a cooler, nature gives you one. Just excavate a little cavity in the, uh, the sand. Put your bag in. Cover them up. That should keep him uh, nice and cool, at least below the ambient temperature, which is about maybe 58 degrees. So should keep him in the low 50s down there for the next couple hours. You want to take it out? Okay. If you're good. Then I'll stick it in the fish. Okay. okay. Really? All right. And it was like, it was literally 10 feet in front of me and a couple of retrieves and he was right That's there. That's usually how it works. That's how I caught my biggest trout was just reeling in about ready to go home and he hammers it on the way in. Yeah. So it's when you're not paying attention is when they hit it, right? Am 
bike's been slow. Uh, none of my buddies nor I have been catching anything in the last uh, hour or so. So switch it to a dunking rig. I'm gonna keep going the hard bait with the uh, the Lamy, and uh, I'm gonna set this up with a uh, high low rig, two ounce disc weight. Maybe switch it up to a pyramid weight so it sticks to the bottom, and uh, use my uh, raw shrimp that I've been marinating in shrimp heads overnight. So two prong approach. Let's see if it happens. Can't tell if it's a fish rod or not. So it is small. Oh, oh alright. Alright, a little bait sealer. Nothing to write home about, but hey, the fish are still out there. Not too bad. They're biting shrimp. That's a good sign. Alright, that's the thing about dunking rigs. You uh, don't minimize or limit, you know, the fish that can take it. All the little ones are going to come and pick it, so take what you can get. Maybe a bigger one will come through. Dunking rig too. Good to know they're taking the bait. Good to know they're biting that shrimp. Let's see if uh, something bigger comes along. Oh, what the hell? I think I got a fish on. I'm just dead weight. What is this? I have a fish just chilling in the sidewalk? Whoa, whoa. Dude, there's... Oh, this fish has got some weight or I got a double. Wow. Oh, I got a snag or something. What is this? Oh, no, there's some kick. It's not a snag. What is this? Oh. What? What? Did I snag a shark? <laughs> Seriously. What? <sighs> Oh, I can't turn that in. Damn. I've never caught a leopard before. Uh, on this setup at least. On shrimp. Oh, should I snag him? Oh no, he took the hook. Alright. Uh, wreck my rig. Uh, so this is why if you're fishing for sharks or targeting rays, go uh, barbless because their skin is so tough that the barbs just won't back out. So, you know, it wasn't planning on catching this guy today. Wasn't planning on turning in a shark in a perch derby. So I'm gonna let this guy go. Pop the hook, he should be fine. These guys have been around for a quarter billion years. And uh, one little hook's not gonna stop that. Thanks bro. <laughs> dude, that that pole was jumping. That pole was jumping, dude. Yeah, yeah. Let's see where it's going. Nice. Wow, look at that slaveroni. How'd that feel on your line? Looking like a behemoth. <laughs> Slap time. Put him in, bro. Dude, let's see if he fits. I'll take another. Yeah, you know what? I'm not sure about red tail. I think it's 10 for red tail too. It might be 20 for everything else. Let's see if he comes back. Come on.
Got him. Got him. Right in the surf. Yay! Little guy. Right in the surf. Yep. Not worth keeping. But always fun to catch, right? ESP all day. The bite's turning on. Definitely feels like uh, definitely feels like uh, tide's turning a little bit. So maybe the bite's gonna turn on. The big ones uh, come with it. That was a pretty cool bite. I saw him flash in the wave break, right in the sand. He took it, ran back a little bit, pulled it back in. They bite like right at your feet. That's where I caught that one earlier on the flash window. I mean, it was 10 feet in front of me. Pretty crazy. Large shirt and go around the tables there. Lunch, t-shirt. T-shirt, lunch. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. All right. It's worth the 40 bucks right here.